Welcome to iQuist Theory. By repeating this test, you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to pass the DVSA theory test confidently in just one attempt. Traffic officers operate on motorways and some primary routes in England. What are they authorized to do? Stop and arrest drivers who break the law. Stop and direct anyone on a motorway. Issue fixed penalty notices. Repair broken down vehicles on the motorway. Where would you find these road markings? On a pedestrian crossing. At a railway crossing. At a mini roundabout. On a motorway. A police car is following you. The police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left. What should you do? Move over to the left. Stop immediately. Pull up on the left. Turn left at the next junction. Where will you see these red and white markers? Approaching the end of a motorway. Approaching a concealed speed limit sign. Approaching a concealed level crossing. Approaching the end of a dual carriageway. What's the national speed limit on a single carriageway road for cars and motorcycles? 30 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. You're on a motorway. A red cross is displayed above the hard shoulder. What does this mean? Pull up in this lane to answer your mobile phone. This lane can be used if you need a rest. You shouldn't travel in this lane. Use this lane as a running lane. What does this sign mean? Ring road. Mini roundabout. Keep right. Buses turning. What is a statutory off-road notification, SORN? A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. A notification to tell DVSA that a vehicle doesn't have a current MOT. Information kept by the police about the owner of a vehicle. Information held by insurance companies to check a vehicle is insured. You park at night on a road with a 40 miles per hour speed limit. What should you do? Park with dipped headlights on. Park facing the traffic. Park with parking lights on. Park near a street light. The dual carriageway you're turning right onto has a very narrow central reservation. What should you do? Wait until the road is clear in both directions. Proceed to the central reservation and wait. Emerge slightly to show your intentions. Stop in the first lane so that other vehicles give way.
Which shape is used for a giveaway sign? Where does this marking normally appear on a road? Just before a giveaway sign. Just before a no through road sign. Just before a stop sign. Just before a no entry sign. You see this signal overhead on the motorway. What does it mean? Leave the motorway at the next exit. Sharp bend to the left ahead. Stop, all lanes ahead closed. All vehicles use the hard shoulder. You see this amber traffic light ahead. Which light, or lights, will come on next? Red alone. Green alone. Red and amber together. Green and amber together. What does this sign mean? Low bridge. Uneven road. Hump bridge. Traffic calming hump. What should you do when approaching traffic lights where red and amber are showing together? Stop because the lights are changing to red. Wait for the green light. Take care because there's a fault with the lights. Pass the lights if the road is clear. For how long is a statutory off-road notification, SORN, valid? Until the vehicle is repaired or modified. Until the vehicle is used on the road. Until the vehicle is insured and MOT'd. Until the vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. What does this sign mean? Motorway contraflow system ahead. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Traffic approaching you has priority. What must you do when you see this sign? Stop only if a red light is showing. Stop even if the road is clear. Stop only if children are waiting to cross. Stop only if traffic is approaching. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic crosses a two-way road. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Two-way traffic over a bridge. At a railway level crossing, the red lights continue to flash after a train has gone by. What should you do? Phone the signal operator. Alert drivers behind you. Wait. Proceed with caution. On a motorway, what's an emergency refuge area used for? For construction and road workers to store emergency equipment. 
if you think you'll be involved in a road rage incident. For a police patrol to park and watch traffic. In cases of emergency or breakdown. On a motorway, when should the hard shoulder be used? When taking a short rest. When answering a mobile phone. When checking a road map. When an emergency arises. What does this sign mean? Direction to park and ride car park. Direction to bus and coach park. No parking for buses or coaches. Parking area for cars and coaches. You're on a smart motorway. A mandatory speed limit is displayed above the hard shoulder. What does this mean? The hard shoulder can be used as a running lane. You can park on the hard shoulder if you feel tired. You can pull up in this lane to answer a mobile phone. You shouldn't travel in this lane. <laughs> 